How's it going, everybody? Uh, this company right here called me out, out here all the way in Pasadena, uh, doing a quick little road call. Customer said, loss of power, engine D-rate. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and come look at this real quick. So it looks like we got after treatment SCR operator inducement, engine torque D-rate, and after treatment one intake knock sensor, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at the knock sensor code real quick. Uh, go check power, grounds. Um, I'm very familiar with this code, so I know what to check. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, see what's going on and we'll catch up real quick. All right, everybody. So there's a knock sensor after treatment one intake knock sensor. I got it pinned back probe right now on the ground and the power. As you can see, I got no power going to the knock sensor. All right. So, real quick, I'm gonna check. I'm suspecting a power issue, but what I'm gonna do real is take off the power and see if I have a good ground. I'm gonna take this guy off. Sorry for the shaking camera. All right, there we are. We're gonna check our ground, so I'm just gonna go on the alternator right there, and we have power. So we have a good ground. Um, I'm suspecting a power issue, uh, possibly broken wire, and we're gonna go ahead and, um, normally I would low test the ground just to make sure that the ground can carry a load. Uh, but for since I'm outside of the road, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, check power at the fuse and the relay make sure I got everything there and if everything's there I'm gonna try to find this uh, broken wire all right guys so on this Peterbilt we have Knox relay just 20 amp right here so as you can see we got 12 volts 12 volts we're gonna check Knox up sensor which is gonna be at 10 amp, we got 12 volts, 12 volts. All right, so we're good there. So now we're gonna check the relay. So our 30 pin is back here, we got 12 volts. And our 87 pin is gonna be on this side and we got 12 volts. So relay is good, relay's clicking, fuses are good, so we got an open wire somewhere. And uh, let's try to trace this down real quick. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. Um, so the harness runs through back here. We got all that tape pulled off of it. Very brittle, very old truck. Okay, so all the way over here, on this harness over here, we do have a broken wire right there. So I'm gonna try to find the other side of this wire. Go ahead and make my repair. I'm just gonna do a butt connector for now. Try to get this guy on the road so he can make it back home. And uh, try to tell the customer that we need to remove this harness and make a more permanent repair. Tape this all back up nice. That way he doesn't run into any more issues. It's there. All right. 1244, man. 1245, actually. Made a repair. Got that going right there. Let's go ahead and uh, I already cycled the key. Intake knock sensor code is gone. Engine torque D rate is still there, but that should go away as soon as we uh, turn this on and idle it. Uh, truck, you know, or the engine needs to see it idle for a minute before the torque D rate goes away and any uh, inducements. And let's go check the knock sensor. Twelve point four six volts, right at the connector, back probe, everything looks good. This unit should be as good as done, fixed. Big shout out to Roberts Concrete out here in SoCal, a uh, very big customer of mine, always a lot of help. Uh, if you guys ever need any concrete demo, coring, uh, concrete cutting, demolition, excavation, these guys are the best. All right. Guys, that's it. This truck is fixed. Thank you for watching.